Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rocket League with me, BrainBoy20, where we last left off. We were continuing to do ranked matches and having lots of fun by actually crushing the enemy team for once. And this time we will do Chaos st and Standard once again, because I want to do some non-serious gameplay. And then we'll go back on to Ranked afterwards. Non-serious gameplay, then for practice, and then moving on to Ranked afterwards. I believe the live streaming went well last night. One Way Heroics is definitely a fun game to play again after a couple months of being away from it. And we're with the f opponent Gerd on the enemy team. Don't know who else is here. And I should probably redesign the car eventually. Oh, please don't tell me it's going to take forever to find players. I don't want to be stuck with two out with two AI. I'm with Boomer and Sabretooth. Hopefully I can beat Gerd, Jazz the Boss, and NL Killers. Is that NL Killers? No, Nye Killers. Never mind. Unfortunately, due to this being just a warm-up match, I'm going to have to rely on the AI not being dumb. Jazz the boss, however, is definitely not dumb, nor is his team for turning me around constantly. Oh, I got two players to join us, unfortunately at very inopportune moments because it set our allies away from the goal that was that they were protecting. However, it might have set a perfect opportunity to score. Good job, Unholy Killer, for getting the first score of this match. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit for myself, because it feels ungodly loud. Huh. So who's on our team now? Six shots and Unholy Killer, which is a part of the clan and not safe for work. Okay. And... The melee at the center simply sees the ball being sent an extreme distance away. I'm going to stop its momentum, putting it in the middle. And I'm going to knock it over the opposing team, which sends me flying and unable to act. Unless I wanted to fly, but we get an easy score as a result. Good job, Unholy Killer. I bounce it off the side wall, bouncing it over all the opposing teams, and he managed to score with an easy shot. Six shots trying to steal it from him, but failing. All right, let's see if I can pull off the easy hit here. And I get first touch and first hit, and my teammate manages to get the solid hit as a result of me stopping the momentum. And unfortunately, I deflected the ball that my ally should have gotten, but they set it up so high into the air that maybe, just maybe, one of us are capable of blocking it. Six shots. Blocking it. Taking a shot, I should have said, but six shots. Blocks their attempt to send the ball to our goal. I'm just going to hang back here, maybe, just maybe, to take advantage of the ball going so far away. I'm going to fly to try to regain control. Because I need to stop this before they get an easy score and stop myself from scoring on our own team. What are they chanting? And Unholy Killer sends the ball back to our side. I'm going to keep it out of their control by bouncing it off the side wall and hopefully setting up a good rebound hit. Had I not missed, that would have been amazing, but thankfully Unholy Killer is doing a much better job of controlling the ball than I am. Jazz the Boss bouncing it off the side wall, which could have set up a perfect shot for six shots to try to make it in. Not like that matters. Sit Unholy Killer sending it back towards their goal. I'm going to bounce it into the air. Ineffectually, if I was slightly higher by doing a second bounce, I might have been able to score, but Gerd has another idea of simply murdering me. I'm just going to grab this boost really quick. Not like that matters to not Holy Killer gets a shot into the goal. How did he do that? Bouncing it off the side wall. Zooming around from the side, getting slightly past Gerd, who hits into him, allowing him to get an easy shot off. Alrighty then. Coming in from the side, it's my duty to try to get control over the ball, and getting control over it, I will not, because I can only deflect it slightly, as Jens the Boss gets the first hit and a solid hit. At least I prevented them from getting an easy score. Bounce off the side wall. My teammate knocks me into the opposing team, preventing me from having any control. And I miss horribly. Thankfully, no one's able to score as a result. Six shots bouncing it off the opposing team, getting a rebound off the wall. I try to knock it away from him, but that does not work. Gerd bouncing it away from our goal, though. Allowing us some time to recover. I'm going to try an aerial hit that fails miserably as I'm well off center. And while I do attempt to hit it into their goal... They set up a perfect shot for me, and I fail, but Unholy Killer picks up my rebound and allows us to score once again. 
I apparently get the playmaker bonus because I got so many assists. Which is almost hilarious. Alright, all three of us in back. I'm going to be boosting constantly, try to make it in. And I will stop their shot and send it onto their side of the field. It's not a very firm hit, though, and I have no boost of which to speak of. But I will bicycle hit it away from our goal in the perfect fashion, but Unholy Killer, what are you doing? It would have been perfect to have you not done that. And Jazz the Boss sets up a perfect set shot for his team to take, had any of them been in any position. I'm too low to do my bounce off the sidewall hit that I was attempting to perfect a couple of games prior. Unfortunately, six shots doesn't know when to stop providing momentum to the ball, and thus ruins any opportunity I had of attempting to score. And I missed my attempt to block it, but instead I'm just going to use Night Killer and send him off course repeatedly, bouncing the ball above our goal. And I'm just going to keep sending it back to their side of the field, hopefully allowing my team to score, because clearly I am not a scoring player in this. I'm definitely an assist maker, but not a scorer, he says, as he gets the near-perfect shot if he was only a little bit closer to the ball to do a sideways bicycle hit into the goal. As such, we're in the last minute of the game, and things are looking pretty bleak for the blue team. I dodge the ball when I attempt to hit it instead. Because I am the smarterest, they bounce it off the side wall again because they do keep bouncing it higher and higher into the air. I attempt to hit the ball by bouncing off the side wall, but its momentum carries it too high for me to reach. Thankfully, Unholy Killer is much smarter than I, and sits up a perfect shot into the goal. We miss, but Unholy Killer scores once again. I think he's been responsible for every single goal this game, getting the most assists. <sighs> I need to work on my aim. Maybe I really need to do those drills again, but then again, we know my track record with them. And we almost get an immediate instant score by six shots, which does not matter. This game is over. Six shots from the beginning boost straight into the ball, bouncing it over the opposing team who tries to block it ineffectually. Oh, allowing us to score. And I'm just going to pick up a little boost and sit in the back, and hopefully something will happen. I'm going to go boost to try to pick up the ball. Unfortunately, I miss, but I think I knocked Jazz the Boss into hitting the ball onto his side of the field. And I get to score, were it not for Nykiller just barely blocking it. And ruining my day in general. I'm going to bounce it off the side wall again. Maybe Unholy Killer can set up a perfect shot, or at least set up a perfect shot for him. Unfortunately, that does not occur. And I miss the ball once again. Six Shooter tries to send it into the goal, but we all fail. I'm going to bounce it off the side wall. Which ultimately does not matter, because it hits the ground, and it's over. I get the Royal Crown Topper. Yeah, most definitely that was an interesting match. But now it's time to redesign the car before going into ranked match, so... Uh, we're not going into the season yet with Exhibition. Garage. I think I'm going to keep the Breakout, or the Octane. Nah, or we can do Merc. I think I'll do the Merc. What decals do we got? Skulls. Certainly. I think I'll keep this corroded metal look. I like it. Personally, I like it. And we're not going to do any money, actually. No. Hmm. Tunica. And we shall take the standard purple. Or the plasma trail. Eh, I think we'll keep sacred for right now. And it'll take the royal crown with gold rims to match. And that is it for now. Let us go into ranked mode. And see what we can find. There's a lot of people in the playlist this time around, so it shouldn't be that long of a search. Uh, the live streaming video this time around should actually go up sometime this week. I'm just going to have to edit it down because I don't think anyone wants to sit through a couple hours of me playing One Way Heroics with any amount of dead time whatsoever. So we have Cosmic Pig Studios on the opposing team. I have Tolan and TPP Hype on ours. Tolan Studios gets the first touch, but nothing ultimately happens. I'm just going to bounce it in the middle, and hopefully Tolan can pick up for it. Fortunately, that doesn't work, and Buzz bounces it off the sidewall. That's a perfect shot for me to get an aerial hit, which might allow me to score immediately. If only I wasn't off the sidewall. TPP tries to get a second shot on the goal, but fails. And I'm going to rush back to try to defend, because we're going to have a 
little hard fight, as I wasn't able to score immediately. But for some reason, I don't kill my momentum before making it here. My teammates will attempt to block, and I'm just going to send it well away. TPP, why are you going towards our own goal when you hit it? And I'm going to do an aerial hit, sending it back onto their side of the field and centering it, and maybe, just maybe, pulling off an insane goal here, but that doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't happen, because it is too high up in the air for me to hit. TPP is going to bounce it into the air again. I'm just going to boost back to our goal and try to wait. Tolan bouncing it over the enemy team. He tried... Cosmic... Wait, Cosmic Plaything? Cosmic Pig Studios, that's his name. Tries to get an aerial hit off, but that doesn't happen. I'm going to boost in front of it, try to stop my momentum, but that doesn't work, and it bounces well over me. In reality, I should be boosting into the air to grab this stuff, but I am not. I'm just going to just gently move it away so they can't get an easy shot off, and thankfully it bounces over Buzz, who had a perfect opportunity to try to shoot into our goal, because no one's defending. And it goes back over our teammates once again. I'm going to come in to try to hit it, but I miss. But thankfully my teammates are both on the defense. Oh, I had a perfect opportunity to try to block its airborne momentum. Thankfully that does not... Unfortunately, that does not happen. They all try aerial hits to absolutely no effect, because there is no speed behind those air shots whatsoever. And we bounce it away from our goal again. I'm going to sit here and wait. Hopefully they can set up a good shot. Which there's one coming up. Supposedly Tolan bouncing it away. If I was in a slightly closer to the other side of the goal position, I might have been able to pull that off. More on the left side of the goal from my perspective. But that is not the case. And I'm going to try to hit it but fail because my full momentum carries me well past the ball. And all of us ineffectually missed the ball, and it's bounced away by how. I'm not gonna forfeit. Tolan left, and he f leaves the match because he's in shame for scoring on his own team in ranked mode. I don't blame you, but that puts us well far behind. First touch, but the solid hit goes to the enemy team who have more players simply to pull this off. I try to hit into the air, and TPP is a little too aggressive for what position we're in, allowing them an easy score once again. Yeah. And here's where we fail, because our teammate left. Like, it's not the end of the world if we don't score immediately. We could have had a chance, but since he left, he kind of screwed us. But we can at least see if we can turn this around. Alright, my job once again to try to get the first touch. And the Flurious Melee does absolutely nothing. Purdue sends it into the side wall once again. He bounces it off the side, TPP tries to pick it up, and simply knocks it into the air for the enemy team to try to take control of. TPP is off the side wall, sends the ball away. We both miss, but thankfully they send it back towards their goal. And ultimately it can be as, as aggressive as they want it to be, because no one's in a position for us to stop it. I'm going to bounce it off the side wall, bounce it away from them, and maybe get a shot in the goal if my teammate was a little bit faster. And here's my time to shine, and I miss. Because I don't know when to kill my boost for speed, or I don't remember to power slide occasionally. And that bounce is absolutely useless in doing anything except making it so I have har a harder time hitting the ball. TPP, just, just co coast it in. That's all you need to do. And off the side wall it goes. I'm going to try to boost into the ball, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off anything like that because we're already down by two points. Bounces off the side wall, but they're not able to stop the momentum. I'm going to come in behind TVP, knock the ball, higher into the air, do an aerial hit over the enemy team, but they send it right back. TVP blocks the momentum of it, and unfortunately I hit my teammate, and I have no boost in order to try to recover this position. And however, TVP comes in from behind to stop his shot, bouncing it again ensuring that I get a good opportunity to send the ball back to their side of the field, but Perduels can just sit there and wait, considering we are down a player and cannot be as aggressive as a result. And unfortunately, he sets up too good of a shot for the opposing team, and we fail. TVV has left the match, and I'm just going to vote to forfeit, because there, no, there is no reason for us to remain. It's 1v3. No one else is going to remain. And with that failed match... The game is over for now.
Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play Rocket League. And I am signing off. If you liked the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe, for it helps out a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time.